welcome you all to my youtube channel so let us consider this question we have a right angle triangle and we have a square and two smaller right angle triangle we are supposed to find the area of the blue square that is this area how can we solve this geometrical puzzle so first of all we can label some of the the angles so this one can be what theta and this one would be what beta right if this side is 90 this this angle would be what beta right and if this right side is beta this angle is 90 so automatically this side to what theta now we can see we have two two similar triangle, considering this biggest triangle and this smaller triangle. So, and we can say this side can be A, right? Then this side can be A, because the square have all the sides to be equal. We can label this part and this part, right? So this one is A, and this one is C. This side is C, and also this side is what? D. Now, how can we solve this question? So we use similar triangle. So we consider this smaller triangle and this bigger triangle. So using similar triangle, we use, this is theta. So the length would be what? A, and the same way this is theta, so it would be what? C. So the ratio is what? A over C. And let's consider beta. beta First of all, this is beta, the bigger one. So it's D and beta, this side is what? A, because the area, or the length of the square has all its side to be what? Equal. So now we have A and A. So we are going to get A square is equal to CD. Now we can find, we know that the area was given as what? X. So area is for half base times the height. So we have AD divided by what two, right? Similarly, similarly, we can make D the subject here. So D is equal to two X divided by A, right? We are, make, we are making all, all the terms in terms of what X and Y. That was given in the question. Now we can say that from here, we can say that Y, Y is this one Y, so y is the same as what the area half base times height. The base is what c c and the height is what a. So a c divided by what two, right? So we know d. We we have found uh, d to be what two x over a, and we found what c. That is what uh, y is equal to a c divided by two. Now we will find C now. C is equal to two Y over divided by A. So now we have got C and D in terms of what? X and Y. From there, we know that we already know A square is equal to CD. So we put the value of C and also D into this equation. So we are going to get two Y divided by A multiplied by two X divided by A. So, we are going to get what? A raised to the power four is equal to four x y. Now we are finding what? A square. The area of a square is what? Length times length, so A square. So now we will square root of both sides. Then we are going to get A square is equal to square root of four x y. Now square root of four is what two. So we are going to get A square is equal to two square root of x, y. So the area of the square is two square root of x, y. I hope you got it correct. Thank you for watching. And always you can subscribe to my YouTube channel for more educative videos.